Okay, what I'm going to look at today is just to clear up why people struggle on a game day with the crosses and generally it does come down to footwork. I think we can all agree that swing through is the go-to choice of methods for game shooting. That's going to put it in behind the target, swing through, keeping the gun speed quicker than the quarry and taking the shot. I'm going to be using an empty gun here. So when you read the books and all the stuff in the press from the olden days, I'm facing forward, ready for the flush, and I see a bird to my right. The book says, step with your back feet and come round to the side. You've just seen what's happened to the barrel. If I use my right foot to move, I, I struggle to get the gun to stay where it is. So that dictates my method. I step right, i am already moved the barrel, I'm out in front and I'm trying to guess. Exactly the same going to the left side. If I use my left foot to step left, the barrel will come with me. And again, the method is lost. If I do exactly the opposite of all the olden day teaching styles, and I use my right foot to step left, I can leave the barrel where it is, get in behind my quarry, and I've got a powerful stance to unwind. You can see I can use my core to rotate. Vice versa. If I want to go to my left, to my right, sorry, and I step with my left foot, I can leave the barrel still into the shoulder, swing through with a powerful rotation. And it's something that I'm quite passionate about is my game shooting teaching. And when I see people make that old style move and they struggle with their crosses because they get off the line, they're underneath, they're over because they're trying to gauge it. If we can work the opposite foot to the way you turn, you're going to have far more success in the field. Right foot to go left, left foot to go right. Good luck.